So you know that song that's like, I bless the rains down in Africa. So I used to think he was saying, I miss the rains down in Africa, and I never really listened to the rest of the song. So I always thought this was just a song about a dude who used to live in Africa, in some rainy part of Africa, and now he doesn't. Now he lives somewhere else, I guess north of Africa, since he's saying down in Africa, and it's like a more arid climate, like he lives in the Middle East somewhere maybe, and he's just missing home. He misses, you know, when it wasn't all dry and it never rained. So that makes sense, but that's not what the song's about. He's not saying that. He's saying, I bless the rain down in Africa. How, what does that mean? Are you a shaman? What is, what is this song about? So I decided to look into the rest of the song to see if we could figure this out. Like, what exactly blessing the rains down in Africa means. Um, so let's just, let's just get into it here. Okay, I had the lyrics written down. First line. I hear the drums echoing tonight, but she hears only whispers of some quiet conversation. Okay, so this doesn't really make a lot of sense so far, but, you know, it, it, we can say it's poetic. Uh, it sounds nice. There's, you're setting up, like, the, the singer and a woman of some sort, some kind of female. You can assume this is a love interest. Like, okay, I know where this is going. This is, I'm, we're on solid ground here. I'm following you. Next line, she's coming in, 1230 flight. Okay, we're getting, we've abandoned poetry at this point, and we're just getting into specifics. She's coming somewhere, she's landing on, we assume, an airplane. She probably can't fly. We have no reason to assume she can just fly on her own. At specifically 12.30, a.m., p.m., doesn't matter. Next line, the moonlit wings reflect the stars that guide me towards salvation. Okay, more poetic stuff doesn't make any sense. Let's just move on. I stopped an old man along the way. Uh, okay, where is this going? This is new. Hoping to find some long-forgotten words or ancient melodies. So this has gone from being a kind of sometimes poetic song about a guy who possibly has a female love interest to all of those things, a guy who's insane, who has possibly has a love interest. He's just stopping random elderly men, asking them questions that don't make any sense. So I'm expecting this old man at this point to be like, um, get lost, you're kind of creepy and weird. But no, this is what happens. Um, hoping, oh no, 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 that's the wrong line. He turned to me as if to say, hurry boy. It's waiting there for you. What is? What does that look like? What kind of with his face? He said that with a facial expression. What? What is? I'm gonna try it. Okay, I'm gonna try. It. Hurry, boy! It's waiting there for you. There. Did you? Did you get? Is that what you got? Let me try again. You gotta have kind of like a head wobble. You gotta like gesture uh, to add it. Like, but what? Okay, what's waiting there for him? Why it? Why not her? You know, she's, it's not, he's not saying with his facial expression that, uh, she's waiting at the airport for him. She's saying it. So, who even knows? At the rain in Africa? I don't know. It's not specific. Next line. Hopefully we can clear this up. Okay, let's jump into the chorus here at this point. It's gonna take a lot to take me away from you. Okay. Okay, what, now we're making sense again. This is, I'm on board again. There's nothing that a hundred men or more could ever do. Okay, alright, good. I feel much better now. This song is starting to make a lot more sense. I bless the rains down in Africa. What? <laughs> we have not mentioned Africa at any point so far. You can't just suddenly jump into this, just, what does it mean? The next line, gonna take some time to do the things we never had. That doesn't even rhyme, and it's grammatically incorrect. What are you talking about? And then the rest of it, you know, he talks about, like, Kilimanjaro, and then he starts getting into Africa themes, so he completely abandons this uh, storyline with the old man, or the girl landing on an airplane, we have, we have no idea. We have no idea what's going on. This song is just bonkers. And uh, I'm just now realizing I should probably get rid of this, because this is all written in my handwriting, and if anybody finds it, they're going to think I'm crazy. So, yep.